captivated the golf audience even bigger than that. Uh, Michael Block, PGA professional, tied for 15th at the PGA Championship and uh, kind enough to join us this morning. Is this all set in yet, Mike? You know, not even close, Dan. Uh, it's insane. I, it hasn't stopped. Uh, had a good time with my friends and family right after uh, the PGA Championship on Sunday night. And at 7.30 in the morning, I was back at Oak Hill uh, doing some interviews and uh, on a plane at uh, noon and just arrived last night, came in here, uh, checked in. I'm sitting right now inside the Colonial uh, card room in the uh, men's lounge. And uh, it's uh, it's surreal and it's great. And I've got a lot of people coming up to me that uh, I've looked up to and watched on TV a lot coming up and uh, saying congrats. It's been a really cool experience, to say the least. Okay, some of the people that you've met or congratulated or reached out. Give us an idea. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> well, any uh, every single person that walks by me here in the, on the tour, you know, uh, is, is literally... And, and even cooler than that, to be honest, is me uh, just now getting an omelet for breakfast. And the gentleman making me an omelet uh, shook my hand and uh, congratulated me. And then when I was registering, the four, the four, the four ladies at registration uh, all uh, wanted pictures with me. And, and when I was coming through the gate, even better so, the, the gentleman at the gate, as soon as I started driving by, they started yelling and screaming block party um, as I was driving away. So... It is, it's even more so really cool stuff like that. You know, one of my best friends is Albert Pujols, and uh, he's he's reached out to me throughout the entire week. And being around guys like that, being around, you know, Patrick Cantley, who I play a lot with, and uh, Bo Hossler back in Orange County, California, they've all made me very comfortable um, being around this scenario and stuff like that. So it's it's been awesome. And honestly, I have so many texts and emails and DMs. I, it is It is beyond me. And I've missed and haven't been able to respond to so many people. And I apologize. And I'll, I promise I'll probably get back to you next week at some point. Why do you think you connected with this gallery? It's because I'm the guy that's usually sitting in the uh, stands drinking an IPA. And um, somehow uh, the and I'm in the NBA finals. And the coach says, you know what? He looks like a good basketball player. Come on in and uh, play game seven for us and then hit a three. Um that doesn't happen in any other sport outside of golf. You know, this is the only sport that I know of personally where a club professional, a guy that teaches golf, a guy that runs a golf course, can all of a sudden go play with the best players in the world in one of the biggest stages in the world. You handled it so well until I think it really sunk in. And then you didn't, you couldn't handle it the way you did. Like you can laugh and joke and hi and everybody and that's all of a sudden the tears start. Uh, and then you can't stop them. How surprised were you that that emotion was there and it finally came to the surface? I'll tell you what, uh, I haven't really been that emotional of a human being outside of watching Rudy, you know, when he, when they put the jerseys down to have Rudy come in. I mean, I cried there. I never cried when uh, I had my kids. I cried, <laughs> I cried when I won the Club Professional National Championship in 2014. That was the first time my wife had seen me cry. And I haven't cried since then. And now I think I've cried about a thousand times <laughs> in the last week. So... Now I'm sitting there. I just watch videos now. I'm watching videos of things and people commenting about me or, or um, saying something nice about me. And uh, tears start coming to my eyes again. I mean, it's it's crazy how emotional this has made me. Where's the ball from the hole in one? It's funny you said that. Today was the first time, you know, I was just unpacking my stuff at the house. And um, I reached in there and I, I, I have the ball. I've got the glove. I've got uh, my yardage book with the pin locations on it. Um, and I'll tell you something funny, Dan. Um, the craziest part is about all this, and you're kind of saying on the memorabilia part. Um, I've had multiple offers for that seven iron uh, in numbers that I can't even imagine uh, that are more than what I made the first year I was an assistant pro. Let's just say that um, for that seven iron that I used on a whole uh, 16. Are you going to sell it? Or 15. Are you going to sell them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're 12 years old. <laughs> I need new irons. I literally have no grooves on my irons. <laughs> my 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 nine iron, eight iron, and seven iron are grooveless. Uh, I literally have to play in certain conditions where it's going to roll out more. It's not going to stick as much. So I've had the same set of irons forever. I've never had them regrouped once. And if you saw my irons, you wouldn't even believe it. I mean, they look like they're from the thrift store. <laughs> well, you could sell the, the the ball, or do you want to keep that? Uh I, I, I honestly, I haven't thought about it. Um, you know, I definitely want to keep some stuff to remember to, you know, 
really remember that that uh, circumstance and that what happened and being with Rory and Sunday and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I haven't thought they're just all sitting right next to my bed right now. Uh, yeah, so I don't lose them. Uh, moving forward, does your rate go up as a teaching pro? No, uh, I've never. Uh, I've been told that I've been should have been charging a lot, lot more for a long, long time. Uh, and I honestly don't believe in the fact that I should be charging more than 150 bucks for a golf lesson. Uh, I don't care if it's the best golf lesson of your life. It's I think 150 bucks is a really fair price. And uh, yeah, no, I, I don't plan on doing that whatsoever. And you get to play with Justin Rose and Rory McIlroy. I mean, I mean that. And can you keep it light? Do they keep it light? Like, how do you? Oh. Like, how do you, you're playing in the PJ Championship, but still, you, these guys have ideas of winning the thing. So I didn't look at Justin really outside of meeting him. Uh, I would stare at his shoes just so I didn't think. <laughs> like, I remember the first poll, I was just looking at his shoes when he teed off um, <laughs> because I didn't want to have that thought, like, holy crap, I'm teeing off right now with Justin Rose because I've watched him my whole life. I watched him at that three wood behind uh, 18 at Marion to win the Open. Uh, <laughs> And then when Rory hit, I'm just like, I'm not even going to watch this ball flight because I didn't want to even see it. So if you watch me when I'm on the first tee uh, with Rory on Sunday, I turn around. I turn around. I'm not even watching this. I, I, only, I only probably watched like maybe four shots that he hit because he's such an intimidating human being as far as how he hits the golf ball. If you're picking the actor to play you in the Michael Block movie. Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah. But it, I know I, I mean, he might be a little older than uh, I am for that, but at this point, but oh boy, I don't, I don't, I have no idea. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> hey, you, you played the role quite well this past weekend and uh, have fun in Fort Worth and will life be normal when you go back home? Oh no. Oh no. Um, it's going to be insane. You know, it's going to, yeah, it will calm down, you know, a month from now or whatever it might be. Uh, but I can't wait to go back and obviously see my boys and see my friends back there that didn't make it. My assistant pros in the shop who have been covering my butt as I've been, you know, living this dream. <laughs> they're, they're there answering phone calls from all these people and still working their jobs, still, you know, making sure that payroll's done, still making sure that everyone's getting paid back at the club. And uh, so I haven't had that opportunity. And uh, this is a, a shout out to everyone back at Arroyo Tribuco and Mission Viejo that uh, thanks for doing what you're doing. Any thoughts on being in the media huh. I've, I've had I've, I've gotten some calls on that too um it's never been a thought in my life uh Dan I I, I have no idea um if, if it happens someday <laughs> great uh because I know I'm not gonna be able to play golf my entire life so uh yeah maybe we'll see I hope so who knows well congrats and uh have fun this week as well and thanks for the entertainment Thank you, Dan. Appreciate you having me on. That's uh, Michael Block, PGA professional. The rates aren't going up. Uh, tied for 15th at the PGA Championship.